everybody, welcome back to Liquored and Lacquered. This week's Liquored and Lacquered is all about summer toppers. I have become a little bit obsessed with stamping to the detriment of my beautiful topper collection. So I decided to pick out a dozen toppers that I definitely want to challenge myself to wear and incorporate in manicures this summer. So I'll hold myself to it. You should, you should hold me to it as well. Uh, so I will show them to you, maybe all, all the manicures together or something at the end of the year, but I'll definitely be uploading them to Instagram as well at the end of the year, the end of the summer. So I'm going to show you all 12. Uh, I am working with a little different format here. So I have uh, kind of pre-recorded all of the toppers. So they will appear in a separate video. I'm also having a little glass of Malbec because why wouldn't you? So the first topper I want to talk to you about is a bar glitter because I love my bar glitters. I only have three maybe four that have bar glitters in here, so don't worry. But this one, if you're worried about bar glitters, I would recommend this one. This is Seate's Jewel, and I bought this on holidays uh, last year when we went to one of my friend's uh, weddings. Um, no, one, the wedding of one of my friends, that sounds better. And uh, so this is a really kind of sentimental polish as well uh, because I got to hang out with the girlfriend of one of my best friends in the whole world. So we went shopping to Sephora together and I picked up this one. So it's sentimental because whenever I wear this and see this, I think of those guys and I will be definitely working this into a summer manicure at some stage. It lies nice and flat. The swatch, the swatches you're seeing, the swatch sticks um, they're all top coated as well to give you an idea of what they look like with top coat and uh, so yeah that is Jewel by Seate definitely one that I want to wear uh, actually let's do all of the bar glitters together uh, this is Zoya's Moshin and this is probably the finest bar glitter I own I mean, it doesn't even behave like a bar glitter. There's no sticking up or anything. You can barely see it on the swatch that I included, but I wanted to do that on purpose. I really liked the light blue. Uh, by the way, all of the polishes that um, are uh, that serve as base coats here are random polishes that I don't know what they are. I had like random swatch sticks and I wanted to recycle them. And stupidly, back in the day, I never labeled my swatch sticks. So I had a, I have a bunch of swatch sticks there that I'm gonna try and recycle. So I'm really sorry that I don't have base coat colors, but anyway, I really like the light blue under Moshin. And uh, yeah, so it's one coat, by the way, of all the toppers as well. The other topper, this is nice actually, I can have wine and show you toppers. The other topper with bar glitters in it is this one which I can't get the label off of. This is OPI's uh, I'll Tinsel You In. It's a black and white matte uh, glitter with square white glitters, circle uh, black glitters and then white bar glitters uh, and then there's a micro black matte glitter in there too. It's a bit of a pain to kind of, you have to kind of leave it on its end for a little bit but um, it's not too bad actually. It lies flat enough but if anything is going to stick up I'd expect it to be that out of the bar glitters that I chose. And the only other polish then um, for my summer picks that has bar glitter in it is this one from Colour Club. This is Field Day. I picked this up uh, in Japan if you saw my Japanese haul and it has this beautiful square holographic glitter in it. It's so pretty. So uh, and a yellow glitter and a blue uh, metallic glitter. The yellow is matte and then there's a white bar glitter and a pale blue bar, gl bar glitter. This comes out, this is quite glitter heavy, so I need to play around with it. I don't know if I could, if I would like a whole manicure with it, just a couple of accent nails, I'm guessing. So the only topper on in my dirty dozen, if you like, is, that will be probably textured is this one from Cuccio, and this is a Star is Born. It's a multi-blue uh, coloured uh, glitter, and um, there's actually kind of what looks to be a slight lilac glitter in there too. Uh, all different size hex glitters, and there's what I want to call a royal blue or cobalt blue crinkle cut glitter. I think you can see one on the nail. It looks like a crinkle cut. Do you know like crinkle cut crisps or chips or whatever? 
that's what it looks like. That's the only way I can describe it. Uh, this is a really unusual topper, so I need to definitely pull that out. Maybe I should make this a blue of the month. I haven't had a blue of the month topper yet. So this or Moshin maybe. So watch out for that in July and August. So I have two toppers here that I received from uh, as nail mail from two of my nail pals. Uh, I didn't include any of Nika's because Nika's uh, I think are much more festive, but also I wanted do another space manicure or one of Nika's and um, I didn't get around to doing any more space manicures this weekend so I definitely want to incorporate one of the ones she sent me but this one is from Jules and in the bottle it looks like it's a lime green and kind of a turquoise color but actually it's a lime green blue hex glitter and then a white hex glitter and then there's a just a tiny kind of sparkly green glitter in there as well this is really pretty I put it over the yellow and you can really see the blue pop on it uh, I I don't know I don't think I'll wear it over yellow when I wear it but this is confetti and yeah thanks for that Jules I love it and the other nail mail polish in on my list for the summer is Grosvenor Hill this came from the lovely Claire Gray I love this this is this lies super flat I think of all the polishes here this one is the the like it just glides on it it lies flat on the nail you know Claire is going to pick a good polish anyway so it's matte kind of um, glitters with a orange, peach, pink and blue and green. So um, yeah, I think that's a kind of a festive looking one for the summer. So back to kind of a mix of matte and metallic glitters. We have this one from Dance Legend, which has the light, which is very hard to turn on with uh, the nails, but that's the light on. I hope you can see it. There it is. Hopefully you can see that. And, uh, oh God, it's so hard to get off. Anyway, uh, this is called Pet uh, Petunia, which I think I said when I bought this, my dad wanted to call me Petunia. Uh, he's a bit of a, he, he's got a bit of a green thumb, so he really loves flowers. So Petunia was on his list of names to call me. And this one has a bright red glitter in it, a kind of a purple glitter in it, leaning lavender, a bright blue, they're almost neons, almost neons, kind of bright pastel neons. And then a, tiny tiny micro white matte glitter and then there is a sparkle in there of gold there's some gold glitter in here but it's not that visible but it is there I love this topper so petunia is definitely going to get an outing this summer the next one I think I'm just going to show you in the video and I'll hold it up just be lazy oh have some wine mmm so the next one is a common one that you'll probably have seen for the last two summers for me. It is from China Glaze. It's this neon topper. Absolutely adore this. It's let the beat drop. It's got multi-colored uh, um, neons in there. I say multicolored. There's like four. Uh, there's orange, pink, a very soft, almost light purple and um, a darker kind of cerise pink in there too love 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 this topper and I really like it over the purple in the swatch which looks like shades on to me okay so the last three are way more metallic I've had a couple of metallics but there has been a lot of matte glitter involved apart from the first one uh, I have another Seate one and another one that I bought on the same trip actually this is a square glitter with peach which very light peach a very light pink and then the, the most reflective silver square glitters i love this polish this is called fair and square and you know square glitters i'm there i love it so that is uh my square glitter for the summer entirely square glitter i have a lot of minis that are going unloved as well i might do a mini mani month at some stage with just minis throughout the month um and this one is so sparkly and i yeah this is for this is called Comet Tail from H&M. It's beautiful. It's full of different colored iridescent glitters. Glides on. Really looks good over a dark color. I hope that it picks up well on camera. So yeah, I'm really really looking forward to wearing that and doing some nail art with it. And then finally, you probably see her in the comments every now and again. The lovely Geraldine Shortall. Go and give her th her comments a thumbs up, people, because that is my mum. Uh, and mum got me 
this beautiful festival polish from Model Zone. I'm sure she got it in TK Maxx. She'll probably let you know in the comments. And this is called, what is this called? Color Explosion. It's got uh, pale lemon, blue, peach, and then silver glitters. And it's also got some very sparkly, reflective holographic glitters in there. It's really, really good on the nail. Again, another one that I'm looking forward to. That was it. They were the dozen toppers that I'm going to wear this summer, come hell or high water. And now I'm going to try and not roast and go do my stream for A Song of Ice and Fire. Oh, I'm sorry if the fan is loud, but I'm too Irish for this weather. Okay, uh, check out Instagram for all those toppers throughout the summer. I will talk to you again next week for another summer themed uh, polish video and uh, by the way on my nails is a tutorial coming this friday a tropical theme it's all summer 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 we're getting we're getting ready we're getting ready talk to you soon cheers